What's up guys? It's been a while since I talked to you. I've been really busy. I got a lot on my plate. I've been doing a lot of overtime. This economy is not very good to the uh, gorilla family, so I gotta step up and take care of business. So, uh, no big deal. But anyway, uh, here I have some gear on the table here. And I'm not gonna review any sort of gear or anything like that. It's mostly a concept. Let's talk about scanning and scanners. And this question came up from a conversation I had with a undercover officer about uh, encryption and stuff like that. And uh, his particular problem was, uh, you know, government is pretty slow to act and, and get authorizations for stuff. And he needed to talk to some of his guys on the down low, you know, uh, encryption, you know, uh, where nobody else could listen to. Well, uh, for type 1 and higher encryption, you need to, to get an act of Congress just about to get the authorization. Uh, besides, the license for the frequency that he was using uh, is not licensed to do encryption. So as a temporary solution, I suggested to go digital. P25 digital, that's uh, APCO Project 25. And I would explain later what that is when I go through the whole spectrum of uh, scanner types and stuff like that. But pretty much his channel was, was uh, licensed to do uh, digital modulation as well. And uh, I tuned his radios to do uh, digital on, on a, a conventional channel. So he was like quasi sort of encrypted in a way. Not really, but... P25 is such a new concept that not everybody out there would know what that sounds like, you know? And I would demonstrate what I'm talking about while I go through this video here. But uh, yeah, uh, we changed his radios to encrypted, uh, not encrypted, uh, digital. And he was able to talk without anybody snooping in and, and figuring out what the hell his team is saying. So, uh, but that could only last for so long until the criminals catch up to uh, today's technology. Before you spend your hard-earned cash on a scanner, you have to ask, ask some questions uh, which will determine what type of scanner you should get. What I would advise is find out what frequencies are used in your area. Uh, what sort of systems they are using. Are they using a conventional repeater, trunking repeater, or APCO P25 digital repeater? Those are the, the three main methods of communications that the local, your local municipality, state, county, or even the feds use out there uh, for normal day-to-day -day, uh, business. Also, when the shit hits the fan or if there's a, a large incident, uh, they will move over to a tactical repeater or tactical channels. And it, that would take the form of one of those three forms or maybe even all three. So... Those are the questions you got to ask yourself before you buy some gear. What frequencies are being used in your area and what's the method of, of, of broadcast? Repeaters and all, and all those other uh, uh, systems. And one way you can find out really quick is there, there's a website called radioreference.com. Now this is the go-to uh, website to go to when you want to find out that information is it's really easy to navigate uh, they'll show you the the, the uh, uh, a map of the United States and you could click and it would scan down into into your particular town or whatever and, and then you'll could get the you could get the information that way and it's pretty accurate it's kind of like a wiki uh, for for our scanning uh, frequencies and stuff like that and it's so reputable as far as a, a, a website that a lot of these manufacturers, like for this piece of equipment here, it, they have it uh, as a reference in the back or somewhere in their manual to go to. Uh, I've seen another manual for like a uh, Uniden that has the same thing. They, they, they reference that particular website. So that is the first step you should take. And I tell you that because you could span 
a a yard sale old scanner like this old radio scanner here that would cost you probably five ten bucks in, on a yard sale Th that that would only scan conventional frequencies to the uh, today's scanners like this uh, Graycom uh, FRS no PSR 6600 which does conventional trunking P25 digital and P25 digital scanning the whole gamut now you go from 10 bucks on a yard sale to something like this Uniden trunk tracker trunking tracker which today's price on eBay or something like that would be from 75 to 150 dollars to this piece of gear here that would do all the modes, all the popular modes today, digital and all, that would could run you uh, from three hundred dollars on up to six, seven hundred dollars, depending on the bells and whistles that that'll have. But minimally, minimal would be at least three hundred bucks. Now, the most common scanners out there is just your Jane Plane conventional scanner. It will not track trunking systems. And what trunking systems are is uh, Motorola has a trunking system and so does uh, Ericsson and they call it the EDAX system. And what that will do is it will treat uh, radios that, that have the trunking features on them like cell phones pretty much. You'll have uh, four repeaters in a city that, would, that, that a whole municipality will share uh, like a... Uh, phone system uh, cell sites and, st and stuff like that so it's very flexible you can have a few fleets and talk groups and stuff like that really sophisticated and it's a pain in the ass to program a trunking system into scanners because there's so many variables out there uh, but this guy here cannot track those trunking channels uh, you could maybe listen to one channel but the conversation you won't be able to follow you'll hear one part of the conversation they'll stop talking for a while then automatically their radios will just switch to another frequency and then continue in the conversation there and so forth so uh, it, it it's really hard to track so that is trunking that's the next step above just a regular conventional scanner I uh, cannot demonstrate trunking here because I'm not close enough to a site to, to show it. Uh, I do maintain one site that is a trunking system, but uh, it's too far away and, and I'm home and this is my off time. I'm not going to do that. So the third method is P25. What P25 is, is uh, it's digital communications. Instead of uh, these radios here talking conventional, uh, and, and when you scan into them, you can hear the voice and everything. What you would hear, if you, if you use a analog conventional scanner such as this, all you're going to hear is computer data bits going on and off, on and off. So let's demonstrate that. <clears throat> Here I have a conventional scanner. So the criminal is just listening in to the traffic. And here I have two radios. Uh, Part 90 radios that that's commonly used on police force and fire. Motorola XTS 5000 and an EF Johnson's 5100 ES, and they're both P25 capable. So I got one channel on both of these programmed in, and uh, here's my uh, criminal here listening in and listen listen to the uh, to the noise. Now here is the EF Johnson talking into it. Five, four, three. Actually, this radio is picking it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. It sort of sounds like static. So anybody listening into it would would kind of see that that hear it and say, "Oh, this this channel is just has static and move on." I'm gonna turn this down. Turn this guy up a bit. And both these radios here are having a conversation. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one.
And this guy here on the scanner, the conventional scanner, cannot hear it. Five, four, three, two, one. So that is the difference between a conventional analog signal and P25 digital. So when I was talking to that undercover agent about about a quasi encrypted way of sort of uh, communicating with each other without anybody else listening in, uh, that's what I was talking about. This is an industry standard, a P25 for 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 uh, government agencies and 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 just professional radio system, the Part 90 radio systems. Unfortunately. Amateurs in the amateur band doesn't have it. Uh, the only thing closely resembling that is something called uh, D Star, and D Star is uh, ICOM, an ICOM uh, proprietary digital language. And another another radio that only ICOMs could talk to each other. And I think there is other third party radios that 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 use D Star too or are capable of it, but. Uh, Yesu, they, they don't have it, or a Yesu radio cannot talk to a ICOM radio, and ICOM radio cannot talk to a, a whatever radio. And unfortunately, the, the hams don't have P25, and, and actually they should because it's a standard. Uh, here I have two separate radios, a Motorola and an EF Johnson's, and they could both talk to each other because of that common digital language. So that's a bummer, but anyway, so this is your conventional ra uh, scanner here. Now that scanner that I have up there, that's able to to track trunking systems, so I can at least listen to a trunking system out there. And so, and I could do that with this scanner here as well. But this scanner he here is P25 capable, so it's. There's a PC interface in the front here that goes into my laptop, and and I could have the same uh, display remotely on on the uh, on the scanner on the uh, computer there. So let's talk to this guy here. Let me turn this guy down. Five, four, three, two, one. See if I can. Five, four, three, two, one. So this scanner here is decoding P25 digital data. Let me turn on my cheapo yard sale here. Five, four, three, two, one. So that's the big difference there in scanners. Digital, P25, and just conventional. Does your community have digital systems out in the field? If so, then it may be viable, uh, viable for you to purchase one and so you can listen in, into to whatever emergency traffic that's being conducted in your area. If not, conventional is good to go still, at least in the meantime. Uh, I would say with the economy of scale and stuff like that, eventually the P25 capable radials will come down in price. And they are slowly but surely. Uh, the same thing with uh, two-way radios that have P25 on there. If this was a conventional radio only, it would cost, uh, I don't know, 800 bucks. But you tag on the 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 uh, P25 capabilities on it. You you just you could just add five hundred to a thousand dollars on top of the price tag. But this is what the federal guys are going into. Uh, a lot of the cities are going into P25. And uh, 2013, when when all the uh, radios are are mandated to go into narrow band, a lot of these municipalities are. Abandoning, abandoning their conventional radio system and going digital. So you just got to find out what's in your community. All right, so that is the uh, demo on this and uh, Gorilla Geek going 10-10.